Operation Deep Freeze, from NGA's perspective, is to provide a safe means of navigating to a very harsh and remote continent so that the Department of Defense can support the National Science Foundation's Antarctic mission. So I'm the, currently the team lead for NGA's ODF team. Uh, in the last three seasons, I was a graphics lead, meaning that I took flight procedures that were designed from the Navy in Charleston, South Carolina, and converted them into a graphic product that crews can use in the cockpit uh, when they fly down to the ice. My primary role in Operation Deep Freeze was to lead a team of up to three people compiling the digital data that is used by the flight crews in the flight management systems for arrivals, departures, and instrument approach procedures lining up the air crew on the runways. Every year we need to go down there and revalidate that the airfields and the procedures to get in and out of those airfields are safe. They provide cargo personnel movements into theater, from the theater and within the theater. So moving people, cargo, fuel, and air medical evacuation. An interesting problem that we encountered was we implemented a new procedure called the Phoenix Whiteout Procedure. That is used when the LC-130 crews are unable to land during adverse weather conditions. And so what they do is they fly out using the nav aids. They then uh, execute a controlled descent to land in the middle of the ice shelf. By doing that process in real time, we were able to come up with a solution that not only was safe, but now the existing chart worked. And so crews have that today in case, that worst case scenario, they need to use it. You have groups located all over the U.S. planning, coming together then down in one spot in Antarctica and being able to make that mission work, even with challenges that we don't foresee when we're doing uh, all this planning. They have some really long hours, people working six, seven days a week, over 12 hours a day. They're doing it for months at a time, and everyone there is just focused on getting everything completed, safe manner, and making sure that everyone can operate for the upcoming season, because really that flying season is only about three or four months long, depending on the weather, and then have to close up shop. I think the thing that surprised me was how much of the unknown we were expecting, and yet, relatively speaking, how easy it was to overcome. What inspires me the most about working on this mission is having a direct impact with our partners and customers in getting the mission done. I didn't think we expected it to work as well as it actually does. And that's a reassuring idea in that no matter where in the world we are, we are able to get that mission done.